Anyways, to fast forward. Is that the fire alarm? No. I'm just so used to hearing fire alarms go off when I cook, so. Sup, Roids, and congratulations! Oh, it smells like smoke now. Today, I am going to be cooking a Funfetti cake while reviewing the Congratulations episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 13. I've never used this before, so I have to learn how to make it first. Gotta love that. I don't know what to do first. I need to figure out how to use the oven. Okay, so the oven is preheating and I have to make some stuff in the bowl. But while I do that, we're gonna talk about this episode. So the episode starts off with the um, pork chop loading dock queens and they are voting each other off the island. And now what am I doing? A half a cup of oil. So they are um, voting and it comes up to, oh, spoiler warning. Um, if you haven't watched the episode yet, I am going to be giving some spoilers. So if you don't want it to be spoiled, tune in on Wednesday whenever I'm coloring the looks and whatnot. And that doesn't really spoil anything because I'm not gonna tell you who goes home. We're just gonna talk about the looks. Anyway, so what's a half cup? In the bowl, ew, it looks like I just made snot. <laughs> Or I peed in the bowl. <laughs> what am I doing? Oh, I'm supposed to put oil in the pan too. Cook bottom of pan with no cook, no no stick cooking spray. Do you have no cook sticking spray or no sticking cook spray? <laughs> okay, no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but what if? <sighs> so what was I doing? Um, chill. Oh, so they're voting each other off. It comes down to a tie between Elliot with two T's and Utica. So they vote again and they vote for Elliot. Stupid fucking bitches! Oh. So Elliot has to sashay away. Then it goes to the workroom and I've got to put three, wait, cake mix, water, oil, eggs, and bowl. Okay, I'm doing it correctly. I was just making sure. So I need to pour the cake mix in here in three eggs. So Rue comes in and tells them that somebody went home too early and then Elliot walks in. What the fuck? So Elliot's there now with the winning queens and they all hate her for it or something. And I need to put these eggs in the bowl. Before I forget, I want to give a special thank you to all of my patrons and also want to encourage you guys to support on Patreon if you can. As low as $3 a month, you get an extra video every Friday. You also get a free HH button and access to see all of the TikToks that got deleted, probably because TikToks dumb. By supporting me on Patreon, you can help me pay my rent, help me save up for new equipment, and it just really helps me a lot. And you can give more than $3. You choose one of the other tiers, you can get access to all of my deleted videos, shout outs at the end of every video, free t-shirts. Just check it out and see for yourself and choose the tier that best suits you. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. So, then they do the mini challenge, which is like the whole, I got three looks and that's it. No, I'm just kidding. They only did two looks. But they did a fall and a winter look. Oh no, this eggy might have some shells in it. Whoopsie. So they, uh, they do their looks and my hands are dirty. Then Rue is like, yep, that's everybody and walks away and we're all like, where's the other hose? Now it's time to mix everything I just did in the bowl. Please give a warm welcome back to our friend, Sir Mix-a-Lot. I like big He's gonna beat this for us, maybe. Um. So they all go back to the workroom and why can't I not get this in? Rue tells them that they're going to be recording verses for her song, Congratulations. I can't hear out of my left ear now. So then they all start writing their verses and they have to come up with their own choreography. And then Mick realizes that she didn't tell any of them that she's trans, a trans man that does drag. And so that was a whole scary moment for her. And uh, do you guys like when I mix and talk at the same time? No, sorry. I just like to be chaotic. Okay. Ugh. Tastes good. Damn it. Anyway, so fast forward. Is that the fire alarm? No. I'm just so used to hearing fire alarms go off when I cook, so. So anyway, now I gotta pour this cake into the pan. 
<laughs> oh, it's a little heavier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna have to do this on the table. So yeah, they do the choreo. Um, Elliot's afraid to speak up because she's new there, even though she uh, does choreography for a living or something. So they just kind of struggle through it. And then when she finally speaks up, they're all like, girl, why you know speak up? And she's like, I don't know. And now it's time to put it in the oven. Why do I keep doing this? It's hot. Now it has to cook for like 40 minutes. So I'll be right back. Later. Oh, we're getting some sunlight now. <laughs> we love a good lighting moment. Ooh, cake's done. And next up, we're doing a puppet show. Hello, how are you today? Thank you. My makeup's gonna melt off from that oven, but for once in my life, the cake actually don't look half bad. But now I gotta let it cool for like 15 minutes before I can decorate it. So we'll be right back again. Two hours later. The cake is ready to be decorated. Yay! <coughs> <coughs> I inhaled. So I moved in here to decorate the cake now. So they go to the main stage and they do their performance of Congratulations. Stop it. I personally loved it, every single verse. I mean, I didn't understand two words of candies, but she still served it. I mean, she messed up the choreo, but it's fine. We still, we still like candy. Am I using this right? Why is there so much excess? I am confusion. Anyways, so they do the performance, they do their verses, they were all really good. It was a serve. And then they do their runways. I will talk more about the looks whenever I do my coloring video this week. So if you're not subscribed, subscribe because I'm gonna do another video to talk about the looks. But they get their critiques and it's unclear exactly who the bottom two are gonna be, but it seems like it might be Mick and Candy. So they go backstage, the judges <laughs> They go backstage and the judges deliberate and then they bring all the girls back out. Why can't I get icing on this cake? Mm. Why can't I do anything right? This icing is not wanting to spread. I thought everything wanted to spread for me. Always having to elbow the men's is away. My boyfriend goes to the gym now though and he will fight. Why can't I get icing on this stupid cake? Why? I'm supposed to be talking about the episode too. Fuck! So they, they say that Olivia and Simone are the top two all-stars of the week. This isn't all-stars. They're the top two of the week. And then they tell everybody else that they're safe. And Mick and Candy had a little moment because they thought they were gonna have to lip sync together and they were so happy that they didn't. And I'm gonna put these sprinkles on now. How do I open it? What? There's no little tab thingy. Rigamorous. These sprinkles are rigged against me. Everyone go storm the Capitol. Finally. Ugh. Yay, sprinkles. Um, so Olivia and Simone lip sync against each other and why won't this cap come off? Ugh. Oopsies. Where did it go? Is it in the cake? I don't know where the cake went. I am Confucian. <laughs> it's right in front of me. I don't know where the cap went. So hopefully it's not chilling inside the cake somewhere. But I'm gonna write, oh, I have to open it. I need scissors. These are some big ass scissors. <laughs> So Olivia and Simone lip sync against each other. They both did amazing. Simone won. This is hard. How do people write on icing? Uh, write on cakes. Ah, I ran out of room. I'm gonna have to do a little dash. <laughs> oh my gosh, this should not be this hard. That does not look like it says congratulations. Y'all wanna see? It's, su it's supposed to say congratulations. <laughs> what is my life, guys? I'm the worst housewife ever. Domestically challenged, you may say. But I need to try this cake now, but I also have more episode to talk about, I think. Um, so yeah, Simone and Olivia lip sync. Simone wins, she gets a cash tip of $5,000. She shits her pants and it's all happy. And Rue reminds them that the other girls are coming back. Well, she says there's more twists, but if you saw the sneak peek at the end, you know the other girls are coming back next episode and it's... Don't interrupt, rude. So we know the other girls are coming back and it, that's my recap of the episode. Now let me try this cake. Okay, so the cake's not bad. I just can't spell worth shit. Make sure you're subscribing, your notifications are turned on. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I don't know what my upload schedule is gonna be because I'm gonna start doing the UK stuff soon. I believe I'm gonna do like Sundays at five and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at two. And two of those videos will be recaps from the US and the UK seasons. And the other two will be coloring the looks from the UK and the US season. Yeah, I just don't know which day is gonna be which. Make sure your notifications are on and you check my channel frequently so you don't 
miss it. And special shout out to my super VIP patrons, Paul Ember, Brian Hart, and Philip Lembeck. If you would like a special shout out at the end of every video, just subscribe to my Patreon, pa Patreon and choose the super VIP membership. I will see you next time I see you. I don't, I, tomorrow, maybe. Or just to have your notifications on because I don't even know what day it is right now. Bye. Kylie Doors says it's the lace line. Well, Kylie Doors, you don't even have a profile picture, so how do I know you ain't bald? <laughs>